evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Carol Lamb. And I'm Karishma Bhatt. And together we are Team Infinity. And um, we named ourselves Team Infinity because we do believe that education opens the door to infinite possibilities um, for our generations and future generations. And we we're very excited to be working with Devology to identify um, some of the problems and challenges, obstacles that they may face as they continue to scale up and expand globally. Um, before we get into the depths of um, the problems and challenges that we identified and the solutions that we think might help Gabology, we want to do a presentation overview. Um, so we're going to start with the mission and our approach to the mission. And then we're going to talk a little bit about um, logistics, particularly maybe um, consolidating the main core of Gabology to promote donors um, and partners, and then um, defining um, some of the more aspects of the application issues and uh, targeting um, this expansion approach. And then we're going to give um, our overall proposals to the slide, kind of like the main concept of um, what kind of motivates our proposal. And uh, Q&A. Great. Okay. So we're going to start with the mission and um, our approach to the mission. Thanks, So. We as Team Infinity wish to take a more holistic tactic where we focus on the big picture, which is the overarching vision of the organization of technology. Right now, their vision is, is to ensure that education, which is the single most important and sustainable resource for, for individual empowerment, reaches as many people as possible. Geology wishes to have the greatest social impact that it can. And the first step that we feel that it can um, the resource, it can use the resources that it has um, by, conduct, by conducting research on how exactly, um, on which aspects of, of education that Devology wishes to focus on. And secondly, our second, um, our second tactic would be to, to focus on a more fundamental viewpoint where we want to strip Devology right to its bare essentials so that we can identify the, the main issues that they face right now and so that we can generate practical and simple solutions. Okay, so using this kind of a, um, a central approach, so where we take everything and kind of identify um, the problems and obstacles that any organization who wants to expand would um, encounter, we identified um, certain three parts. So we're first gonna talk about um, consolidating, I guess, main points um, that define people. Um, so, so right now, Givology it focuses on being an online community for giving and for information and awareness creation. It, it, it leverages small dollar, dollar donations and hopes to raise funding. Our suggestions for Givology would, would be to focus more on the big picture. And okay. Okay. before we get into that, we really just kind of wanted to go over the three essentials that we think define um, the the components, the successful components that um, strong organizations who expand have. So the first would be to consolidate a solid mission um, to further focus the direction ufology will take and help shape the future strategy as a whole. Then we identify a trademark um, to distinguish ufology from other similar organizations and then create an internal managing framework to increase ufology's impact and efficiency. While ufology already currently has kind of a structure in place within their business plan, that um, kind of specify a little bit of each of these. We feel like um, an expansion or a move towards expanding more globally will need to redefine some of these criteria. And this is where we're kind of going um, um, and suggesting how we do this. So the first part would be to consolidate a solid mission. Um, so within the mission, it's kind of, so far we have the vision, which is to bring education to um, under-educated uh, um, er areas, or areas in need of education. Um, so for more of an expand, for Givology to expand, we wish to like break down the mission statement into more manageable parts so that um, the managing framework, different chapters can actually take this and make it so that, it, um, that they can actually achieve those goals and missions. And then um, Givology has a unique trademark already, but we wish to expand on this and to promote this um, and to make this more of like the front. That, um, yeah, so right now, what Givology's 
trademark is and what urology focuses most on is its transparency. Um, what we feel is that this is a very donor-based approach, right? So urology, its vision is to, is to, in, 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 to maximize its social impact. So while focusing on the donors, we still have to, we have to focus more on the, on, on, um, on the partner organizations as well. And we feel that, that by, by kind of shifting their main, their, their uniqueness, other, beyond just achieve, providing transparency, they also need to focus more on this enhanced communication and general awareness that their social web, that the network of Kibology has already started creating so that they can take this approach and, and further expand. And so, um, one more note, I guess, on a little bit of the internal managing framework. So far, um, Gibology is based off of, like, you have college chapters, then you have Gibology fellows, volunteers, and then you have your partners. Um, as it expands, it will need to be able to maybe segment those into more specified um, compartments with um, specified responsibilities. And so we feel like um, internal um, managing framework, this will allow, actually, us to answer the question whether urology should go for breadth or depth. And we feel like um, with a successful internal managing um, framework, they can go for depth and breadth, um, both. Depth first because you have your chapters. And if you start with like one chapter, maybe each chapter can focus on a different region of um, the world to focus, um, to kind of uh, manage those partnerships with. And um, those local chapters can then be able to delegate responsibilities down to maybe local high school chapters who actually inform maybe um, middle school chapters and whatnot. And this will allow for um, them to maintain um, the rest of the end. Second, talking logistics, defining um, the right parameters, I guess. So here we're identifying the right partners and the essential basics of, I think, what would good to evaluate the right partners is to standardize um, the application format, but with exceptions. So, so currently, urology focuses, we feel that urology focuses too much on the te technological capabilities of the NGOs, where they still claim to impact grassroots NGOs. Now, this is, we feel this is kind of paradoxical, so, um, they, so one of the main criteria was to, to for their for their partners and for the donors to, to have four um, to have quarterly updates and we, we feel that they should reduce this to like to a bi to to um, to a bi biannual update just to make 